Greetings, my name is uh, Gushen, Gushen Barnard, yes, and today uh, the thing I'll be talking about ne, is this idea of spoiling your kids, okay, simply meaning, is if you look at the concept of spoiling your kids, let's say you're a parent, you want to spoil your kids, is that a good thing, is that a bad thing, that's fundamentally speaking what this conversation is hopefully going to be about, so hopefully at the end of this conversation I would have hopefully answered that question or at least give a perspective or a viewpoint, hopefully a different viewpoint, a different perspective on the subject matter. So here goes now. I was talking to a set of parents and they were like, listen, we have, let's say, two kids. We spoil our kids, okay? And up until this point, our kids, they seem to be doing fine. Okay, meaning they are humbled, you know, they are church going, God fearing, you know, loving kind, that type of thing. Okay, they share, you know, they do community work, whatever, whatever. And then they were like, and then they look at other parents who are also spoiling their kids. And then they're like, but those kids, they are rude. They end up in accidents, you know, car accidents, you know, uh, they smoke, they drink, they do like all kinds of what society deems to be highly irresponsible things okay or set of things okay so then they were asking me as to say what's the difference i was like what do you mean different like this is not stuff i think about you know obviously if i have kids whether or not i'm going to spoil them i don't know you see but i'm like i don't understand this question and then they were like no like what's your view on the matter and i'm like my view on the matter okay my spoiling your kids what's the difference and i was like okay and then i'm going to hopefully tell you in a condensed form what i told them okay i basically told them listen the difference in my view is let's say you spoil your kids spoiling your kids in and by itself it's not a bad thing it's a good thing why it's something where you do it based on instinct, okay? You do it based on instinct. Simply meaning, as a parent, it's your instinct to say yes to your kids if they want or need something, okay? So now the question is, if it's something which is instinctive, if it's something which is, you know, supposed to be natural, then why is it that some kids, they end up going on a, you know, downward spiral, like, they seem to just lose it. Some of them, they don't end up finishing school. Others, they end up smoking, drinking, you know, making babies, you know, whatever. <clears throat> I'm not saying there's some, anything bad with those things. I'm saying relative to what society is deeming to be appropriate. Those things are deemed as inappropriate. So I'm not being judgmental here. In fact, what society sees and how they see it, I couldn't care less. I'm just letting you know, okay? So, I looked at the situation and I was like, no man, the difference to me now is, let's say you have kids, you spoil those kids, there's nothing wrong with spoiling them now, provided, now this is where we talk about what is accounted for and what is discounted, okay, accounted for means what is being taken into consideration, discounted means what are you not taking into consideration, so the thing that is accounted for now is teaching your kids to become individuals of value. Now, when we say individuals of value, this statement can be very confusing, okay? So let me just give it context. Let me just put some meat on the bone. Kids of value, simply meaning that your kids should want to add value to their workplace. They should want to add value in church or wherever they are involved. Why? Because then they realize if they add value, Somehow, somewhere, it is within their right to make an extraction and to then spoil themselves with the extraction they made. This is what society actually calls being responsible. Okay? Look at it like this. If you are in church, you are always donating money, you are always availing yourself to help paint the walls, you every week, you come, you clean the garden, you come, you clean out the parking, stuff like that. If they make you, <clears throat> let's say, a pastor or a deacon or whatever in church. In some weird but wacky way, somehow they actually do have a point in appointing you. 
Why? Because your heart, your mind, your attitude, your everything is in the right place. But now if there's someone who they have zero interest in the church and what the church is doing, stuff like that, and they make that person, let's say a pastor or a preacher or whatever, somehow we'd all question that decision. Why? Because it's like, listen, this person, they don't have any skin in the game. They don't render any value. They don't bring anything of value, anything of significance to the table. Okay? So if we make them a pastor, on what grounds? Because here's the thing. I mean, if you're not willing to come and paint the church, let's say, on a weekly basis or come and clean the garden or something or whatever, <clears throat> how will you still and where will you still find the time to go and check up on your members? I mean, it's the same time, just a different activity, a different event, a different uh, uh, place, okay? But still, it's within the same vein, okay? So that essentially is, in my opinion, what I feel could be the difference between parents who spoil their kids and parents who don't spoil their kids. Or parents who do spoil their kids and then the kids end up doing irresponsible things. It's as to say that those kids, they are not being taught one value, okay? And they are not exposed to the parameters within which you create added value, okay? Within the context of I am improving something or someone, okay? Now, why is that important? That is important now because... If you are a value-adding, a value-contributing individual, just the idea of adding value, it requires, it demands. There's an underlying assumption as to say that you are creating value. So you have to create value, okay? You have to be responsible. 